Update 1.11.1 will bring several important new features. Interface improvements for a more enjoyable gaming experience, both in the garage and in battle. A system for finding platoon members that match your skill and playstyle. And new tanks with unique auto-reloading mechanics. The first vehicle in the Italian heavy tank branch will allow for smooth adaptation to heavy tank gameplay from medium tanks. When designing it, the Italians definitely looked to their British colleagues. Simply put, they added armor to a medium tank. The Cattle P88 has two effective guns to choose from. A quick firing one and one with better penetration. Thanks to its firepower and decent mobility, the vehicle can provide both support and break through enemy lines. The next tank is the Progetto CC55 Mod 54. It's the first tank in the branch with improved auto-reloading. We'll get back to that later. Now, let's have a look at its characteristics. This Tier 8 vehicle quickly accelerates to its maximum speed of 45 kilometers per hour. This is the fastest tank of the branch. When fully loaded, the Progetto causes 320 hit points of damage every 3.5 seconds, and it doesn't take much time to load all three shells. This allows it to outshoot many opponents at this tier. Its gun stabilization is not ideal, but it's compensated for with good aiming time. Also, the CC55 Mod 54 has beautiful curves on its turret. This Tier 9 vehicle doesn't have those. However, there's 195 millimeters of slightly sloped armor in the Progetto C50 Mod 66's turret. It's enough to withstand hits of same tier heavy tanks when using gun depression angles and looking down on the enemy. The C50 Mod 66 dishes out 400 hit points of damage with enjoyable gun dispersion at close to mid-range. It aims quickly and the reload inside the drum remains the same. 3.5 seconds. Unlike the Rino Charanta, which fires once every four seconds, as long as it has more shells in the drum, but causes 490 damage per shot. Its gun is quite accurate with standard shells confidently penetrating armor at almost 1,500 meters per second. Together, this almost guarantees causing damage, and this tank has plenty of it to offer. The Reno Charanta unlocks best the potential of the improved auto-reloading mechanics. At first glance, it provides the same advantage as regular auto-reloading, delivering fire in positional skirmishes as with cyclic guns with the opportunity to fire several shells in a row. But the classic auto-reloading system has one nuance. If you fire while reloading a shell, it will reset. You will lose two shells instead of one and it will take more time to load a shell into a slot with higher loading time. However good the auto-reloading system is, this nuance sometimes doesn't allow for causing serious damage and can even decide the fate of a tool. The new mechanics is different precisely in this way. It compensates for a part of the time spent reloading if it is interrupted by a shot. The reloading will reset, but the next shell will receive a bonus to loading time. It will depend on which stage you reset the loading. Markers near the reticle will provide more information about it. The first means that the bonus has activated. The second means that the reloading of the next shell is accelerated by 16%. And the third means a 33% acceleration. The last and brightest marker is accompanied by an audio notification. It shows the maximum bonus of 50%. After a shot, the markers will reset, and you'll get the bonus to the reloading of one shell. The improved auto-reloading works especially well with heavy tanks. They cause more damage per shot than medium tanks. It takes longer for them to reload, and they get into situations where the reloading process needs to be reset more often. The new mechanics provide a choice – to shoot or not to shoot. That is the question. If you wait, you can fire several shells in a row. or you can cause damage here and now, while the next shell will be ready much more quickly 
because of the compensation for the time you've already spent on reloading. Your decision will depend on the situation, but will never be a complete blunder. This difference between the new and classic mechanics adds spice to the already versatile characteristics of the Italian heavies. They can fire when not completely loaded and not be out of action for a long time. They remain a mystery for the enemy because counting the number of shells in the drum has never been so hard. And you can make a mistake against a Rinocerante only once. But even an empty Rinocerante is not an easy target. A fairly strong turret and deceiving hull curves withstand hits often. And the mobility is almost comparable to a Tier 8 tank with good acceleration to 40 kilometers per hour, allowing it to take cover and reload, change flanks, or charge into a group of opponents, just like an enraged rhino. Just don't attack in reverse. That won't be a lightning attack for sure. But in any difficult situation, there are always those who you can stand together with shoulder to shoulder and form a shield wall like a Roman legion. You can show off your service to Rome with new customization elements designed for the Italian heavies. Each element is awarded for completing special missions created for the new branch. The missions can be completed in the vehicle of the corresponding tier. Also, they can be completed in the Basanta Arino Charante. Complete missions and collect the customization elements and the main reward. A unique style. With such diversity, each legionnaire can have their own individual look. One will hide behind a shield, while the other will unsheathe a sharp gladness. At the same time, each will be beautiful, dangerous, and emphasize their belonging to the invincible Roman army. But how do you gather a legion? Where do you find the right warriors? We'll tell you about that right now. Platoon 2.0 will help you find such worthy warriors. Its main feature is the player auto search. If you click Find Players, it will activate a search for tankers similar to you. When searching, the system considers WTR. The matching is done within a 500 point range, but if it takes too long, the range will be expanded. WTR is quite an accurate parameter of your performance, meaning the platoon members it finds will be worthy of fighting back to back with you. To find platoon members with the same vehicle tier preferences, specify at which tiers you're going to play in your next platoon battle. The search will look for players with similar preferences. It takes into account the number of vehicles and battles at the specified tiers. If the wait time is too long, the range of tiers will be expanded. The search also considers clan membership and voice chat settings. You can enable or disable voice chat in the same menu. You'll be matched with players with the same parameters. But if the search takes too long, the system will make an allowance for it. You can also disable voice chat individually for each player. The other button, New Platoon, allows you to invite a player from your friends list, and then quickly find a third one if you want. Keep in mind that launching the search will invalidate your invitations to the players from your friends list. When you find worthy platoon members, you'll see their tanks right in your garage as soon as they hit the ready button. Depending on your setting for displaying non-historical elements, the vehicles are shown in their camouflages, styles, and marks of excellence. You can enable or disable the display of platoon member vehicles under settings. This feature works only for the standard garage. The auto search feature is supported in random battles, grand battles, and other modes you can join as a platoon. If you play only with your friends or prefer joining dynamic platoons, don't worry. The old system is still available, as well as the bonus to XP and credits if at least one player in a platoon has premium account. Winning battles together is easier and more profitable. It has also become more enjoyable due to several interface improvements.
This update brought three small but important changes to comfort of play. Damaged modules now have a timer for auto repair. Now you will know exactly when you can roll or shoot again. This is useful information in the heat of battle. You can enable or disable the repair timer in the game settings. The proximity spotting circle of 50 meters will now be displayed on the minimap. Within it, you can always see your enemy and they can see you. The proximity spotting circle on the minimap makes monitoring enemy vehicles easier and helps you avoid being spotted. Or, on the contrary, it helps you keep the enemy permanently spotted while not exposing your vehicle to enemy fire. There is also one change to the server. Now, if you select a particular server when entering the game or switching servers, the game will remember your choice for your next sessions. You can try all these new features right now. Enable new interface features, form platoons with worthy tankers, and crush everything together in new Italian heavies. Good luck on the battlefield.